What I loved about it from the very beginning on was how much you could teach the teach a horse to do, you know, the, the relationship between the horse and the rider and you know, you can train a horse to, to dance on the spot, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible. So, um, you know, that was just fascinating for me, how, you know, how you could train them and how they could learn. Judy Reynolds is Ireland's premier dressage rider, and since moving to Germany at the age of 21, she's risen to global success. Well, really, I never planned on coming over here for a season. 17 years later, I'm still here. Um, but I wanted to see how good I was because at that stage in Ireland there wasn't a lot of people doing dressage so at the level I was competing at turns out it wasn't that great when I came to Germany I promptly came last in my first competition um, but over time we've you know managed to get a little bit better and, <laughs> and get to where we are now. Having had several horses who've competed at Grand Prix level throughout the years, Judy's longest serving and most successful partnership has been with her gelding Vancouver K, or JP as he's known to most. We bought JP at the start of a six year old year, um, so that's 11 years ago now. We, we'd been looking for a horse for quite some time, but it's um, been an interesting journey with him, definitely. Uh, not always the easiest. Uh, he was challenging to train at times. Um, I think because he's so so active in his brain, he always wanted to do a lot and if he didn't know what the right thing was, he'd sort of throw everything at you all at once and that made it difficult at times. But when he reached Grand Prix level, it was like an aha moment for him. He suddenly realized that was where he was meant to be and he suddenly became an awful lot more confident in, in himself and, and relaxed in himself. And now we're able to actually show what what was always in there, but we couldn't always produce it. One of the pairing's most memorable outings was two years ago at the FEI Dressage World Cup final in Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha was a was a brilliant show. We had a we had a great um, World Cup season in the run up to it. I'd also made a new freestyle for that season, um, which was very technically difficult. Um, so, you know, it was, a, it was a good season, good run up. And then the show itself, I hadn't expected to do as well as, as we did. Um, that was definitely a little bit of a surprise, but um, placing fourth was definitely not something we'd reckoned with. And, and it was only later on, really, that I kind of realized how close we actually got to maybe even a podium finish. JP and Judy continue to enjoy success at championship level, but she's the first to admit that this wouldn't be the case without her dedicated support network, who've been there from the beginning. We have a, a really good team behind JP and I. Um, you know, first of all, Patrick, my husband, um, he obviously comes to all the shows with us, and uh, you know, he's he's there for the warm up. Um, he's there to try and help me get my head in in the right place so that I'm focused, ready to to do our job. Um, Libby is a very important part of our team. She looks after JP, makes sure he's feeling, you know, in the best condition, best place physically he can be. Um, my dad comes to all the shows with us, Joe, and he's our he's our uh, social media person. Really, he keeps everybody at home updated as to what's going on, and you know, he loves taking the behind the scenes pictures and shows them to everybody at home. And yeah, we're we're quite a, a close knit team. You know, we've worked together for a long time. Following a break from the sport due to an injury JP sustained in 2017, Judy's team have been crucial to helping get the pair back on track. We ended up looking at the whole package. Um, we had a lot of time in the end. He was out for nearly a year, so um, you know we did little changes here and there. And I think just everything we've done has just brought a, a, a better balance for him, really. And he came back rearing to go, <laughs> but he was more than happy to be back. But it was what we realized when we came back at Aachen was that if we can keep his body fit, he is going to keep going because his brain just wants to do it. And, you know, he was so motivated to be back. I think he's actually feeling better than he's ever felt. Uh, he certainly is, is getting better scores, I think, than we've probably ever gotten. You know, certainly the, this, the last competition in Neumunster, we got a, a new record in the freestyle. So, um, yeah, you know, long may it last, really. 10 days. 
When we visited, Judy was four days away from travelling to the last FEI World Cup qualifier, where she hoped to pick up valuable points to reach the final in Gothenburg. We had a bit of a later start into the season than, than we had anticipated, but actually it's probably worked out to our advantage. Um, JP and I are a pair that work well when we compete more regularly. At the moment, I'd be on the edge of a qualifying position, um, but I have only competed so far in three qualifiers, and you can count your best four scores. So our plan is to get some points in, in Sir Togenbosch and stay within those nine best places and, and get a place for, for the final. Equestrian World followed Judy and JP's journey in Sir Togenbosch and after a ninth place finish in the freestyle, they picked up the crucial points they needed to qualify from the Western European League for the final. We now look forward to seeing if Judy, JP and their lucky Shamrock can go one better this year and get themselves onto the podium in Gothenburg.